Welcome you all to chemistry. In this problem solving session, we will try to cover concept based problems of hydrocarbons. As all of you know, hydrocarbons can be divided into two groups, aliphatic and aromatic hydrocarbons. Aliphatic hydrocarbons can be further divided into saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbons. Saturated hydrocarbons refer alkanes, unsaturated hydrocarbons can be further divided into alkenes and alkynes. Now, let us look at the problems. The first one involves hydrogenation of compound A having molecular formula C7H14 produces a chiral compound B with molecular formula C7H16. Reaction of compound A with ozone followed by dimethyl sulfide or zinc in water produces compound C and D. Compound C shows a positive halo form and tollen test identify A comma B comma C and D. From the molecular formula of A we can predict it is an alkene as it fits with common formula C n H 2 n. Compound C shows a positive halo form and tollen test. It means it has a methyl group which is bonded with a carbonyl group. When you have the methyl group which is bonded to a carbonyl group, it can show a positive halo form test. And it also shows a positive tollen test that means it is an aldehyde. The structure of compound C is acetaldehyde. Once if you know the structure of C, we can try to predict the structure of A. this alkene. So, when you do the hydrogenation, it can convert into this alkene. If you look at here, this carbon is bonded with four different groups. It is a chiral compound, the structure of compound B is this one. From this now we can predict the structure of compound D. So, tolerance test all of you should know it is a silver complex.
when we use two equivalent of this silver complex with aldehyde, it can oxidize to carboxylic acid. where silver 1 will be reduced to silver 0. This is often used to find out the presence of aldehyde group in the molecule. And when you have the methyl group which is bonded to the carbonyl group, and it can be oxidized to carboxylic acid and haloform when you react with sodium hypohalite. So, these are the tests commonly used to find out the presence of methyl group as well as the aldehyde functional group. So, in this reaction, the alkene, when we do the hydrogenation, it gives a compound B. As you can see here, it is a chiral compound. The carbon is bonded with four different groups. Ozonolysis already we have discussed, and in this alkene undergoes. 1 comma 3 cycle addition reaction to give the cyclic intermediate. Which rearranges to ozonide. So, this ozonide when you react with dimethyl sulphide for example, you'll be able to form the carbonyl compound plus this can convert into carbonyl compound and dimethyl sulfoxide. Now, let us move to the next problem, which involves the reaction of compound A having molecular formula C 8 H 6 with hydroboration and oxidation yields compound F having molecular formula C 8 H 8 O that shows a positive Fellings test while the reaction of compound E with water in the presence of acid gives G, which is shows a positive haloform test. Identify E comma F and G. The compound F having molecular formula C 8 H 8 O shows positive Fellings test. That means, it is an aldehyde. Compound G, which is shows a haloform test, that means it has a methyl group which is bonded with a carbonyl group. From this, we can try to predict the structure of E. Hydroboration oxidation, it can be carried out. If you have the phenyl acetyl, when you do the hydroboration using borane like thexyl borane, which can undergo addition reaction. Let me write or this portion as once if we have this one, you can oxidize using hydrogen peroxide in the presence of sodium hydroxide.
to give in all which will convert into aldehyde the structure of compound f is this one which is called as phenyl acetaldehyde if you have the phenyl acetylene which can undergo hydroboration to give this intermediate this can be oxidized to enol that enol can be converted into aldehyde filling solution is a mixture of copper sulfate and sodium potassium salts of tartaric acid it's a copper to complex when you mix with aldehyde it can oxidize to carboxylic acid where copper 1 2 will be reduced into copper 1 oxide which will precipitate as red brown precipitate this test is often used to find out the presence of aldehyde functional group in the molecule while the reaction of e with water in the presence of acid gives compound g this can convert into astrophenone you can see here compound g shows here a positive halo form test that means it has a methyl group which is bonded to the carbonyl group when you treat this compound with sodium hypohalite it can oxidize into benzoic acid and halo form the structure of compound e is now phenylacetylene if it is phenylacetylene it can be reacted with borane to give this intermediate that can be oxidized to this enol this will convert into aldehyde which can show the positive filling test on the other hand phenylacetylene can undergo addition with water hydration the presence of acid to give this enol this will convert into ketone this ketone can be converted into carboxylic acid and halo form by reacting with sodium hypohalite and the structure of compound g is shown here this is astrophenone now let us move to the next problem complete the following reaction sequences the first example involves alkylation of aromatic system this can be carried out if we have propene in the presence of acid 
it can go undergo protonation to give isopropyl cation which can undergo reaction with this benzene via aromatic electrophilic substitution to give the isopropyl benzene alternatively if you have the isopropyl chloride you can react with aluminum chloride to produce isopropyl cation which can react with benzene ring via aromatic electrophilic substitution to give this cumin once if you have this one this can be converted into phenol by two step process first we have to react with oxygen to form a hydroperoxide once you form the hydroperoxide when you treat with acid it can give phenol when you react cumin with oxygen the benzylic ch bond undergoes oxidation to give cumyl hydroperoxide once you form the cumyl hydroperoxide when you treat with acid it can protonate this oh group to you this intermediate now the phenyl ring can undergo rearrangement to give this intermediate which can react with water can convert into phenol and acetone it is an industrial process this we use to prepare phenol so depends upon the alkyl group in this case if you use this uh, propene the base of acid you can protonate to form the isopropyl cation which can act as electrophile now it can undergo aromatic electrophilic substitution to give this cumin once you form this one the benzylic ch bond can undergo oxidation with the uh, oxygen to form the hydroperoxide hydroperoxide the presence of acid can undergo protonation to give this intermediate when can the phenyl ring can undergo rearrangement to give this intermediate this can undergo reaction with water to form this and which can convert into phenol and acetone as the product alternatively if we have the isopropyl chloride we can also try to react with the lewis acid like aluminum chloride 
and you will be able to form the isopropyl cation and uh, aluminum tetrachloride which can act as electrophile which can undergo reaction with benzene ring to give the cumin which can be further reacted as we have seen earlier to give phenol and acetone as the product. This is known as friedel crafts alkylation. The next example involves acylation of aromatic ring. Here the benzene is converted into astrophenone. This can be accomplished if you have the acetyl chloride which can be reacted with uh, anhydrous aluminum chloride. to give this carbocation and aluminum tetrachloride. This can act as electrophile now uh, which can undergo oscillation with this aromatic ring as just we have seen and you will be able to get this astrophenol the product. On the other hand you can also use acetic anhydride. This also can undergo reaction with aluminum chloride to give the acetylene carbocation which can undergo reaction with aromatic ring to give astrophenols the product. This can be oxidized to benzoic acid just we have seen earlier when you react with sodium hypohalite. You can oxidize into benzoic acid and the halophone. These are the important reactions. The first example involves friedel crafts alkylation. If you have alkyl halide, in the presence of Lewis acid can be reacted with the aromatic system to give the alkyl benzene which can be further converted into useful compounds. The next example involves acylation. This is known as friedel crafts acylation. If you have the acid chloride, you can try to react with aluminum chloride to form the acylam carbocation which can act as electrophile which can undergo aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction with in this case this astrophenone can be further oxidized to benzoic acid using sodium hypohalite. Here the reaction of nitrobenzene with a mixture of nitric acid in the presence of sulfuric acid is shown is a nitration reaction. When you take a mixture of nitric acid and sulfuric acid, you will be able to form NO plus which is electrophile which can undergo reaction with this aromatic system and here you look at already you have the substituent. Now in this case the nitration will take place in this position you will get this 1 comma 3 dinitrobenzene as the product.
This compound, when you react with the sodium sulfide, it can selectively reduce one of the nitro group without affecting the other one to give this compound. Sodium sulfide is known to selectively reduce NO2. We have the dinitrobenzene, it can one of the nitro group will be reduced into amino group, the other one will be intact. Now, the position of this nitration is crucial here. The nitration takes place at the meta position. This is because if you try to write the resonance structure, you will be able to understand. If the reaction takes place in the meta position and you will be able to form the following resonance structures. you have the electron withdrawing group and if you, the nitration takes place this position you will be able to have this following uh, resonance structure. Once you have this one now this can react this to give you the nitration product. On the other hand, if the nitration takes place for example, in the para position, you will be able to have this resonance structure. If you look at here, it has the positive charge, it is less stable. When the nitration takes place para position, you have this problem. On the other hand, the reaction takes place meta position, you do not have this kind of intermediate. Therefore, whenever you have the electron donating group, the substitution reaction will take place ortho or para position. On the other hand, if you have the electron withdrawing group, the reaction will take place at the meta position. Now, let us look at the next example, reaction of this alkene with this HCl. It can undergo this is an electrophilic addition reaction. 
and you will be able to have a carbocation intermediate secondary carbocation which can react with Cl minus to give the addition product on the other hand this is secondary carbocation which can rearrange now this methyl group can migrate to give a tertiary carbocation. So, this carbocation is more stable comparing to the secondary carbocation therefore, the methyl group migration can take place and once you form this one now the C L minus can undergo reaction then you will be able to form this chloro derivative. So, in this reaction you will have a mixture of compounds if you look at the major product this will be the major product and first the alkene undergoes addition reaction with this proton to form a carbocation secondary carbocation. The secondary carbocation now leads to the rearrangement this methyl group moves um, from this carbon to here and you will be able to form a tertiary carbocation this then reacts with this C L minus to give this uh, chloro derivative. Now, let us look at this example. So, the reaction of this 1 3 diene, this HBr gives the addition product, and in this reaction, as just we have seen, can react with this proton to give a carbocation. which can undergo reaction with Br minus. If you look at here, this sterically hindered this tertiary carbocation, this is then you can form this allyl carbocation, this is can exist in the equilibrium which can undergo reaction to give this allyl bromide as the product. In this reaction first it undergoes reaction of the proton to form the tertiary carbocation. This is the allyl carbocation which can exist equilibrium with this allyl carbocation. Once you form this one this is sterically less hindered comparing to that therefore, the Br minus undergoes reaction here to give this allyl bromide as the product. This alkyne when you react with hydrogen in the presence of palladium carbon catalyst, in the presence of quinoline this is crucial here it can undergo partial hydrogenation to give cis 2 butene as a product. On the other hand when you react with sodium in liquid ammonia and you will be able to form this trans to butene as the product. So, when you look at the 
mechanism of this transformation when you have the palladium on charcoal which is absorbed with the hydrogen. Now, let us look at the next example. This alkane may chelation with the palladium, then the hydrogen adds the bottom phase to give this intermediate once you form this one now it can undergo reaction here and you will be able to form the hydrogenation takes place the same phase of the alkyne you get the cis alkene as the product it does not undergo further reaction because due to the presence of quinoline which can make chelation with your palladium it can reduce the reactivity of palladium charcoal therefore the reaction stops the alkene stage it does not undergo further reaction to give alkene as a product we do not have the quinoline it can further reduce the alkene into alkene as the product so using this method you will be able to form the cis alkene as a product in this case you form 2 butene as the product. On the other hand, when you use sodium liquid ammonia, you will be able to form the trans alkene, trans 2 butene as the product. Formation of this can be explained as follows when you have the alkyne. When you react with sodium, it can give only electron to alkyne and you will be able to form a uh, radical anion once you form the radical anion which can take proton from ammonia solvent the basicity of this anion is higher comparing to this ammonia therefore it can take proton from this solvent to form this vinyl radical this radical can react with another sodium to form anion once you form this one as just we have seen it can take proton from the solvent to give trans alkene as the product. In this reaction you generate two equivalent of sodamide as a byproduct. So, when you use sodium in liquid ammonia you will be able to convert alkyne into trans alkene. On the other hand when you use 
hydrogenation in the presence of quinoline, which is known as Lindler catalyst. You can carry out partial hydrogenation to give alkene as the product. In this way, you will be able to form cis alkene as the product. Now, let us move to the hydration of alkene. When you react methyl cyclohexene with the water in the presence of acid, you will be able to form the tertiary alcohol. It can undergo reaction with this proton source, you will be able to form the tertiary carbocation, which can react with water. produce the tertiary alcohol as the product. On the other hand, if you do hydroboration oxidation, you will get the other regioisomer. The formation of this alcohol ha can be explained as reaction of alkene with the borane give the addition product. The reaction is stereospecific. The borane approaches from the less hindered side, the less substituted carbon syn addition takes place. To give Once we have this one, this can undergo reaction with hydrogen peroxide in the presence of base to give
we look at here this hydrogen and hydroxy group comes to the same side and the boron always approaches the less substituted carbon and you can get the opposite regio chemistry when you see the acid based hydration and in the case of hydroboration oxidation you get this alcohol as the product now let us look at the next example ozone analysis of this alkene in the presence of hydrogen peroxide as we have seen alkene can be converted into carbonyl compound by ozone analysis in this reaction this alkene will be oxidized into a mixture of carboxylic acid you will get mixture of this carboxylic acid on the other hand when you use hydrogen bromide in the presence of peroxide it can undergo addition reaction via radical pathway in the presence of peroxide for example when you use this peroxide it can undergo homolytic cleavage this can react with now this can react to the hbr to form br radical this radical can undergo addition reaction with this alkene to form a secondary radical this radical now further can react with hbr and in this way you will be able to form as the product this regio chemistry is opposite to the electrophilic addition reaction in that the bromine will add in this carbon when you carry out the reaction via radical pathway you will be able to form the this primary alkyl bromide as a product ozone analysis already we have studied and it can undergo addition reaction to form a ozonide as intermediate once you form this one when you do treat with hydrogen peroxide in this case it can undergo oxidative cleavage to give a mixture of these two carboxylic acids in place of peroxide you can also use oxygen it can also generate radical once you form the radical it can undergo addition reaction shown here and you will be able to get this alkyl bromide as the product the next problem is among the following compounds the aromatic compounds as or or if you look at the features that need to a compound to be aromatic 
the compound should be cyclic you should have a delocalized by electrons you should have four n plus two by electrons and it should be a planar for a compound to be aromatic it has to satisfy these three four points if you look at all these compounds are planar cyclic now we have to look at whether they have the delocalized pi electrons as well as whether they have 4n plus 2 by electrons n can be 0 1 2 3 and so on now let us look at here this is a cyclopropanyl cation it has two pi electrons it has a delocalized pi electrons so this is aromatic cyclopropanyl carbocation is the smallest aromatic compound now let us look at this one cyclopentadienyl anion which has six pi electrons this also has a delocalized by electrons therefore this also aromatic when you look at this compound it has six pi electrons however doesn't have the delocalized pi electrons since you have the here ch2 therefore this compound is not aromatic on the other hand when you look at this one the cyclo heptatrienyl carbocation and this is also has six pi electrons the pi electrons are delocalized therefore this is aromatic this has 10 pi electrons it has the delocalized pi electron therefore this is aromatic the four compounds are aromatic and this compound is not aromatic because of it lacks the delocalization of the bi electrons now let us look at this problem the major product of the reaction of 2 bromo butane with sodium ethoxide is so when you react with sodium ethoxide it can produce a mixture of alkene say e2 elimination on the other hand if you deprotonate this hydrogen and you will be able to form a mixture of two butene and if you look at the ratio of these compounds so this will be the major compound and when you compare these two alkenes this is the more substituted alkene so this compound will be produced more because of uh, the stability of this alkene compared to this one 
and now we have to look at here you have the trans as well as cis alkene among this and this will be the major compound this can be explained through the Neumann projection if you draw the Neumann projection of this 2 bromobutane If you look at these two conformations, this is more favored and because it is less sterically hindered and this maintains the anti periplanarity, it can lead to the formation of the trans olefin. On the other hand, this can lead to the formation of cis olefin because of uh, this and this will be the formation of this trans olefin will be higher in this reaction. This reaction proceeds via E2 elimination. For E2 elimination, the antiperiplanarity of this hydrogen and PR is essential and when it can easily undergo E2 elimination to give this alkene as the major product in this although a mixture of alkenes are produced and this two substitute this E alkene will be the major product compared to Z alkene. In summary, we have seen problems related to ozonolysis. We also have seen the use of halo form, talons and Pelling's test which are commonly used to find out the functional group. Halo form test as just we have seen is used to find out the presence of methyl group which is bonded to the carbonyl group. When we react with sodium hypohalite, it can be oxidized to carboxylic acid and halo form. Tolerance and Felling's test are used to find out the presence of aldehyde functional group. Tolerance reagent can be prepared from the silver nitrate, sodium hydroxide and ammonia hydroxide solution when you mix and you will be, you will be able to form a silver complex which can oxidize aldehyde to carboxylic acid where silver 1 will be reduced to silver 0. And similarly, filling solution which can be prepared from the copper sulphate and sodium potassium salt of tartaric acid which can be used to find out the presence of aldehyde group. Aldehyde will be oxidized to carboxylic acid where the copper 2 will be reduced to copper 1 oxide as red brown precipitate. We can easily find out the presence of aldehyde functional group using this tolerance and Felling's reagents. Then we have seen the aromaticity for a compound to be aromatic it should satisfy four aspects should be planar, should have delocalized pi electrons, should have a 4n four, four plus 2 pi electrons and should be cyclic. Then we have seen the chemoselective reduction of nitro group. If you have dinitrobenzene, you can try to selectively reduce one of the nitro group using sodium sulphide. We have seen an example. 
Then we have seen the aromatic electrophilic substitution. We have seen several reactions. For example, nitration of nitrobenzene. The nitration takes place at the meta position. Whenever you have the electron withdrawing group, the electrophilic substitution takes place at the meta position. On the other hand, if you have the electron donating group, the reaction usually takes place at the para and ortho positions. We have seen one example for the alkylation. If you have the isopropyl chloride, you can try to react with benzene in the presence of Lewis acid like aluminum chloride. We have seen the preparation of cumin, which can be oxidized to cumul hydroperoxide using oxygen under heating. The cumul hydroperoxide can be converted into phenol and acetone by treating with acid. This is an industrial process we use to prepare phenol. Similarly, if you have the alkyl halide, you can try to react with benzene via aromatic electrophilic substitution, which is known as friedel crafts alkylation. Similarly, you can also try to, if you have the acid anhydride, acid chloride, you can carry out the acylation, which is known as friedel crafts acylation. You can carry out this reaction using Lewis acid like aluminum chloride. Then we have seen the hydration of alkenes and alkynes. You can reverse the stereochemistry if you carry out the reaction with water in the presence of acid, you will be able to form the more substituted alcohol as the product. On the other hand, if you use the hydroporation oxidation, you get the less sub substituted alcohol as the product. If you have the alkene, you can convert into alcohol using these approaches. Similarly, you can also, alkene also can be reacted with water in the presence of acid to give enol, which will be converted into ketone, depends upon the nature of the alkyne. Similarly, you can also react with bulky borane to give the addition compound, which can be oxidized to hydrox group, can be converted into aldehyde or ketone, depends upon the nature of the substrate. Then we have seen the hydrogenation, partial hydrogenation of alkyne using palladium charcoal, which is which reduces alkyne into alkene in the presence of quinoline, which is known as Lindler catalyst, which can be used for the partial hydrogenation of alkyne to alkene. You get the cis alkene as the product. You can also convert into transalkene using sodium liquid ammonia. The reaction is too specific. Then we have seen an example for elimination reaction. You will be end up, you will end up with more substituted alkene as the product. Then we have seen an example for the radical reaction. If you have the peroxide, which can react with hydrogen halide to form a radical species which can undergo addition reaction with alkene to give the alkyl halide as a product. I hope that this presentation will be useful to you with this. We conclude this lecture. Thank you very much.